So Unity is a game engine, and uh, there's many of those. Uh, and what we decided to differentiate ourselves on was access and making price points that everyone could get to. We actually made it free uh, a year and a half ago, and then care about the platforms that a very broad range of people need. The basic version of Unity is free and does web and PC Mac standalone builds. As of yesterday, we also have an Android version. We've had an iPhone version for a year and a half. And the iPhone version and Android version are $400 each for the sort of uh, you know, license to publish to these platforms. We also now support uh, PS3 and therefore PSN downloadable games. We support the uh, Xbox 360 and therefore XBLA games. We also support the Nintendo Wii and we've done that for a couple of years. So we wanted to make a tool that was good enough and powerful enough that EA and Disney and those guys would want to use it, and, and they do, but also cheap enough and simple enough, just as importantly, that you know tens or even hundreds of thousands of people would sit down and create games, right? So at this point, we have over 400,000 people that have sat down with Unity and created something. We have hundreds of educational institutions, and the really cool thing is that all of these people, whether they're in a big studio or like in their bedroom, are using the exact same software and able to do kind of the same things, and that's, you know, that, that's where our real passion lies. We recently realized that one of the problems is like, if you don't have a big team around you, you don't have an animator, you don't have a modeler, you don't have like different types of artists and programmers, right? So sort of, you know, looking like as ways we could, you know, make it easier for small people, small teams or individuals to actually make good games. We created a platform we call the Unity Asset Store, where people can actually trade and sell these assets to each other. So you can both go in there, buy, you know, cities or cars or animated characters and you even scripts and components and then sort of piece things together uh, and you know make it sort of way easier to make games than ever before. So we've kind of announced what we had to announce at this GDC which is uh, PS3 support, 360 support and Android support out of beta uh, and this is all available now. Also like we're ramping up the asset store and actually just today we launched a way to, um, to kind of create animations from inside Unity from a bunch of mocap data. You don't actually buy the mocap data, but you sort of author your own animation, and when you're happy with it, you apply it to your character. And this is just one of you know, the first many, many steps uh, that we want to do to, uh, to kind of ramp up, make it, make it easier for smaller teams to build more stuff.